Welcome to Ask Grandma Carol. Today I have a question from Alex who writes, where does wind come from? Terrific question, Alex. Would you believe that the energy that causes wind comes from the sun and the light rays that come from it? Today we'll explore just how this happens. So what actually causes the wind to blow? When the sun warms the Earth's surface, it warms all the air around it, too. The Earth's surface is made of different kinds of land and water formations. Each absorbs the sun's radiation differently. Sand absorbs the sun's heat more readily than rocky mountains. The Earth is always warmer in places that get more sun. We know that warm air weighs less than cold air. For that reason, warm air rises, which allows cold air to move in and replace it. This air movement causes wind. Is wind helpful? Well, I'm sure you'd agree a nice cool breeze sure feels good on a hot summer day. But more than that, wind is quickly becoming a major source of electricity on our planet. Wind power is an excellent, unlimited source of energy because it is comparatively cheap and leaves behind no dangerous waste. People have always harnessed the power of wind. Early sailors used wind to cross the sea in ships. Early windmills used wind power to turn stones to grind grain. Today, wind farms populated with wind turbines are being installed to harness wind power. How do wind turbines and today's windmills work? Wind flows over airfoil shaped blades that causes them to turn. We connect these blades to a drive shaft that turns an electric generator. The end result is electricity. In addition to providing energy, wind helps plants reproduce. It carries seeds to nearby ground where they can make roots and grow. It also carries pollen from one plant to another, like bees, to promote growth of fruits, vegetables, and flowers. Weather vanes, flags, and windsock are some ways that we measure the speed of wind. Scientists use barometers to measure air pressure and anemometers to measure wind speed. Winds have great impact on weather Wind can be a gentle breeze, which is very pleasant, to a tornado or hurricane, which can be very destructive. Here's a fun fact to impress your friends. The windiest place on Earth is Antarctica, where winds regularly reach speeds of 200 miles per hour. Do you have a question for Grandma Carol? Email me at askgrandmacarol at yahoo.com. Yours just might be one of the questions answered on the show. And don't forget to give this episode a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified when new episodes come out. Pose it now, blank stare.